Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. And today I present to you the multi floor Minecraft player elevator. This works by using bubble columns, and here is the selection panel. So, this elevator uh, allows you to select any floor from any level on the design. So, you can head up to floor three from level one, you can step inside, and you'll be taken up after no short delay to the top floor. Floor 3, as you can see. The acacia button indicates which floor is selected. Unfortunately for this video, the textures are going to have to be slightly off because I'm using Optifine and it's still in beta mode, but without it, I can barely record. So you're going to have to put up with that. So anyway, we've selected floor 3, and from here we can go down to floor 2 from this level. It will take us down, like so. Or we can go back to floor 3 if we so desire, like so. Or we can go to floor one from floor three. Um, let's head inside and down like this. And as you can see, it works pretty well in all directions. So how does this thing work and how is it so compact? Um, well, the way this works is by extending these magma blocks and retracting them as well. Um, and the soul sand at the bottom is here too. So when you select a button, um, you can simply do this using the button selector panel. This will power the hopper behind it and it will send the button up to the appropriate floor. So we power this one, it will power this hopper, the observer will detect it, send it up, power this hopper, the observer will detect it, send it up to here and pulse this signal. This will extend and retract this block, um, which causes this piston to get a one tick pulse, so it will spit out its block like so. So let me show you that in action. If we hit this button, you can see I think we've missed it, but this extends and retracts, and this block ends up extended out. This block, this is a redstone torch below it, so this powers the respective magma block on that floor, which means if you're coming from above, it will just suck you down and all will be good. And of course it resets after using those pressure plates. But if you're coming from below, if we just move this block back over here, I have something else. So obviously you can't go through that magma block. So what happens is there's a pressure plate below each layer, um, which is here. And that pressure plate detects uh, the player coming in and it powers, depowers this resting torch, which attracts the magma block and extends it again. So if we just watch this again, if we reset the system by stepping on the pressure plates, like so, if we head down to the bottom and select floor two, you can see that's extended. And when we step into the pressure plate, it resets, we head up and then we can head back down again. And there we go onto the right floor. Now, in order to reset which the floor selection after you've used the elevator, I've got these pressure plates here. Um, and when you step on the pressure plates, it powers this redstone line, which extends and retracts the pistons on the floor. So if this was retracted, it would just extend and retract. And if it was extended, it would, it would extend and retract. That way, the floor is left unselected. This does mean that when you head into the elevator, it does extend the block on that floor. But after a short delay, you do head upwards and it works brilliantly. So this design can work with as many floors as you desire up to build limit. And the minimum gap in between each layer is like this. So you can have a different floor and ceiling. Um, and yeah, you can also have, there's no maximum gap. Um, you just need more observers the taller the elevator is. And yeah, so how do you build this? I will do a quick tutorial right now. It's not very complicated in the slightest. To start with, you need to grab yourself a location for your elevator. This is my location, the elevator is going to go through these doors and the selector panel is going to go on this left side here. We want to build in a roof for our first layer of course, and we're going to be doing this on respective layers in a minute. So as you can see this is it, and the elevator is going here. So on each floor, what you want to do is place three posts there, um, fence posts and three nether brick fence posts on the side there, and then behind these you want to place fence posts as well. Bring this one down here with the fence post on the bottom floor. Place blocks below, blocks behind, um, blocks to the side, and basically cover up every nook and cranny, leaving a space um, within for the water to go in. So as you can see, we're just doing this for aesthetics. The elevator will still function even if you have gaps here. Of course, this is how it's going to look, and this may look similar to you already. Okay, so from here on upwards, you want to just extend this fence line all the way up to your next layer, all the way up the elevator. And then you want to place blocks up as well, around the outside, um, up until your next layer. Now, when you get to the next layer, let's say this is going to be our next layer, 
we need to extend out the platform and we want to extend these pressure plate these fences out and you want to extend them out three just like before and extend this out three just like before as well and everything else is exactly the same so you just cover it all up so here we are like so cover this up on the sides and then we want to cover this up on the top as well because this is going to be uh, the next floor so it's coming out like this and the selector panel is here on this floor as well so as you can see we've got another floor of our elevator which is build it up quickly so you can do as many of these as you want but i'm just going to be doing two for the tutorial and you can have whatever space you want in between as well so the next step is to get some stairs in and what we're going to be doing is placing these on this level so what we're going to do is we're going to break out on each level these three blocks here um, level with this level with the floor level of that level like so and then you want to grab yourself some stairs and some sticky pistons so what you want to do is place an upside down stair on each level here and here like so there and of course on the bottom level you might need to go down to do this but there and there and then of course that there and then you want to go out by a couple of blocks and place a sticky piston in this position so there's a gap there so you want to do this on every level that you have um, of course for me i've only got the two levels but you might have more and just come in place that sticky piston there um, like so on each of the faces of these sticky pistons you need to place yourself a magma block like so and then you want to place a block next to that piston as well and a block down and to the right of that piston on each of these blocks that you just placed, you want to place a redstone torch and then you want to come down um, here and place a block there and break out this block. On this block you've just broken out, you want to break away this fence post and replace it with a pressure plate. And then you want a redstone dust and a repeater there, like so. So you're doing that on every layer apart from the bottom layer because it's not necessary on the bottom layer. But you want to do that on every layer apart from the bottom layer. Now for the selector panel, you can install your buttons. For this one, I've just got two layers, so I'll install two buttons. And behind each button, um, you want to place a um, one of these, a hopper facing into that. Or it doesn't matter where it's facing, but as long as it's facing anywhere, it's fine. You want to find the level you're on. So for this one, we're going to label it as level one there and level two there. So one is the closest in. This is level one, so we want to break away the level one hopper. This is level two, so we want to break along the level two hopper. And you do this upwards, so break away the three and the four on that level. Then any levels below that level, so we start with level one. Um, there's, there's no levels below level one, so it's fine. And any level above level one, we bring it down. So we bring it down with observers onto level one. And we bring anything up to the floor above that it needs to go to, like so. So if there was more floors, there'd be observers meeting this point from above, but of course there isn't. So we're just going to install that like so. Right, so now we want to power this. So we're going to have a redstone dust line off of the one that without the hopper. And this one comes across. And we want to also place ourselves a sticky piston facing across here. And then we want to place ourselves a sticky piston here. And an observer facing downwards. Of course, every layer is going to be the same. And we just bring this across so this line powers into that piston like so and we do the same on the layers below on the bottom layer we need to place a block there to support it and all we need to do is um, have ourselves the exact same setup so a sticky piston there um, a sticky piston there an observer block facing downwards and we just need to power that sticky piston with our redstone line now you may need to divert this as well so that this line does not power that one there uh that that there so like this on the bottom layer now we're almost done with our elevator we need to hook up the pressure plates to the system so what we're going to do is break away this block next to here so we can see where it is um and we need to come press that block back and come a block down below with a redstone dust there we of course want to power this piston so we place a repeater there a block there and redstone running across here so we're going to do the same thing on the bottom layer um, find where this pressure plate is come a block down um, we need a repeater there and then we can just bring a redstone line across for this one although for the sake of consistency i shall replicate the exact thing on here like so as you can see 
The final thing to do is go underneath and replace this block under this magma block with a piece of soul sand. You also want to waterlog all of the stairs that you placed earlier and block off them from flowing out in all directions like so. So find out where those stairs are. Here they are on this layer. You can do this if you go along if you would like. So just block them off from flowing that on all the layers and that's just to replenish the water sources. Then what you want to do is um, get your water into the elevator. So you can just hop inside, place water going all the way up like so. So the water does need to go all the way up the elevator. Make sure you haven't missed any spots. This can be quite challenging, but you should be able to see from the bubble columns where you've missed. And now all you need to do is step on each set of pressure plates to reset the magma block. As you can see on each floor. Alternatively, you can come behind and move this block to the back. But now the elevator is done. If we head down to level one and select um, level two from level one, and then step inside, we get pushed upwards onto level two. And if we select uh, level one from level two and step inside, we get sucked down onto level one. Um, and if we don't select anything, obviously we just go out the top of the elevator. So this will effectively be our third floor up here. And it works perfectly. And you can replicate this for as many floors as you like. Extend the system out. Bear in mind these lines may need repeaters in. Um, if you have the button array long enough. But that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.